welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to the 23rd installment of the Grateful Thankful Plus Challenge. And today I am grateful for Disney. This lip balm is called I Heart Disney Magic Marshmallow and it's made by Lipsest, which is a lip balm company owned by a YouTuber called Purple Stars 02. And she has an Etsy shop by the same name. This was from a 2020 Valentine's Day collection. So, and it's not available anymore, unfortunately. But today I'm grateful for Disney. Disney has always been one of my favorite things. I love Disney movies. I love them to this day. Some of my favorite one movies include Tangled, Inside Out, a lot of the princess movies. And today I figured I'd show you some of my Disney things that I own. I'm going to show you some plushies, lip balms, and presents I got for my birthday this past year. I'm going to show you my Mickey Mouse shirt. I got this when I was in high school in 2012, I believe I got it at Target. Right, I'm going to show you some of my plushies. So all of these plushies, I'm going to show you the first three I actually got from Goodwill. I have a baby Mickey. I'm assuming he was made in the 90s at some point. Look how cute he is. I saw him. I couldn't not get him. When I was in my driving classes, I used to take him practice driving. Not the ones with the instructor, but when I would have to drive the 50 hours on my own and he's just the cutest thing. I love him so much. The next thing I'm going to show you is actually I don't think I got this one from um Goodwill. I'm confusing it with another mini plushie. I got this for my brother. He went to Chicago. He went to a Chicago Disney store and he brought this home for me. Minnie Mouse, she's wearing a Chicago scarf and she's beautiful. I love her. And she's very comfy. And in this plushie, I did get from Goodwill. Obviously, it's from Disney store originally, but it's a Winnie the Pooh plushie and he's very cuddly, very cute. And again, I saw him and I couldn't not get him. I'm going to show you. I have more of these that I'm going to show because I have quite a few. These are itty bitties. They're a collection by Hallmark and they make Disney plushies, Snoopy, uh, Monster High, Barbie, and possibly others. I think Star Wars may be one of them too. I don't know all of them they make, but these are two I have. This is Belle and this is Tinkerbell. Uh, I got this one actually at Goodwill, but I did get this from the Hallmark store and I have mainly, I have mainly Disney princess ones. I had other ones that weren't Disney, but again, I didn't want to spend all the whole video making that. So I just figured I'd show two of them and be done. Right, I'm going to show you one of my favorite keychains. I got a Donald Duck keychain. I got this at Walmart in 2011. I have a Tinkerbell purse I was going to show, but I couldn't find it. But I like hooking this onto that. They go good. They go well together. And I have an Olaf keychain. I don't remember where I got this. It might have been a gift. Okay, I'm going to show you my baby Disney princess plushies. I have Cinderella, Rapunzel, my favorite. And she's out of braid. Hair's not quite very long like usually is. Ariel, Mulan, Tiana. And she's from Princess and the Frog. Merida, Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. And Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And I have a few more of those too, but I didn't want to spend the whole video on just those. I showed about eight of them, but I have more. I have a Tinkerbell one and a Jasmine one too. My brother did give me a bunch of those. He used to buy a bunch of Disney, Disney store plushies and he gave me quite a few of them. Both of these Disney princess dolls he did buy, but I did buy the Rapunzel one. That one was always mine. I'm going to show you some of my gifts from my birthday this year, which was partly Tangled themed and it was partly garden themed. I don't know where I came up with that idea, so I don't ask. All right, so this was from my mom. It's a Rapunzel card. Rapun it's, it was meant for a little girl, but I, she told me to go pick out birthday card. This one I picked out. It says, you have a gift for bringing happiness to life. It's one of your many talents, birthday girl. I hope your day is beautiful. And my mom wrote a little something in the card. I'm not going to read it. And then I got a few Tangled gifts that I picked out. So I have what they call a door... Disney Dorables, I think is what it's called. It's Rapunzel. These are kind of like a blind bag mystery item, so you don't know what you're getting until you buy it. But I was lucky and I got Rapunzel, and I got her little castle. And there are a few other Tangled themed ones too, but I don't have them. This is the only one I have. Since I was lucky enough to get Rapunzel the first go around, I don't think I'll buy more. I mean, I do like Flynn Rider and Pascal, I guess that's how you say it, which is her pet lizard. I don't think I want to buy the whole collection of them. And I got a little Rapunzel doll. She's supposed to be like a little kid here. And that's her hair. It's not quite as long as we're used to. And then I got a Lego set. Show you. And it has a key on the back that makes it spin. It kind of reminds me of Elsa in this set. Look at her hair. It reminds you of Elsa. Very Elsa coated, as they say. All right. And I'm going to show you 10 of my... Uh, 
Disney Princess lip balms. Th this is from the company Lip Smacker. Lip Smackers, they've made so many Disney collections over the past 15 years or so. Usually with the Disney Princess ones, they kind of reincarnate the flavors. They put new labels on them because they're not technically new, but they're kind of newish. But the collection I'm going to show you, this is, in my opinion, the best Disney Princess collection they've ever released. This is not their first collection they've released. This was released in 2020. But it's by far my favorite. It's kind of based on like the Disney animation studios. Okay, but it's got 10 of them. They're all Disney princess lip smackers. i very heavily, heavily interested in the Disney princess line, if you can't tell. We have Belle. Her flavor is Curious Caramel. Then we have Cinderella. And her flavor is called Always Dreaming Juniper. I think that's a plant. I don't know for sure. I know it's a name. Mulan and her flavor is One Tough Cookie. We have Tiana and Keep Dancing Beignets. I've never had a beignet. I would like to try one one someday. Snow White and Awakening Cherry Kiss. I think the flavor they had with Snow White was also Cherry Kiss in the previous lines as well. Aurora, her flavor is Be Dazzling Berry. Jasmine, Daring Blue Raspberry which is my favorite flavor of candy. That's not chocolate. Pocahontas Brave Blossom. It's so refreshing to see Mulan and Pocahontas made into be featured in the slip on collection because they're kind of, they're always overlooked for all the other princesses. Like, not that the other princesses aren't great, but you don't really see them very heavily advertised. So it was nice to see them in this collection. Dream Free Peach with Miss Ariel. And my, which I didn't save this for last. It, it was unintentional, but we have Hot Passion Fruit with no, none other than Rapunzel. Rapunzel's my favorite princess. I even made my Instagram page name after her, Rapainsaw, which is my name at Rapunzel combined. I do have other Disney merchandise, but I didn't want to make a really long, long, long video, so I figured I would just show a bit of my collection. And Disney was the thing I'm most grateful for today. I love Disney Plus. It's kind of a necessity in my household. We have Disney Plus. I still have my Disney VHS tapes, though. Um, I can't watch them though anymore because I don't have a VCR that works. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.